Hi everyone! Well today's video will be my updated makeup collection. Um, I have two other videos. One um, was a very long time ago, one of my first videos. And then the second one, um, I actually thought it was more recent than it was when I went back to look at it, but it's actually been a little over a year now. So some of the components are still the same, but ever since I moved into this room, I promised I would do an updated collection. Now, something to keep in mind, I don't feel like my collection is huge. Um, to some of you, it may seem very large. Um, you know, to others it may seem really small. But keep in mind, probably about a year ago, maybe even a little bit more, I've really tried to pare down my collection and not keep things just for the sake of keeping them and having a collection. Um, you will see I do have a couple of small drawers that I do keep products like that, but I've really tried to have a few blog sales along the way, give things to friends that I'm not using, and just return things that I'm not using. Um, I'm one of those people that I don't like a lot of clutter um, and even if I have makeup you know organized really well I just don't like the thought of not using things. So with all that said let's take a look at the collection. Okay so I'm kind of standing near the doorway of the room and for those of you that have not seen my um, kind of new makeup room I will link that below but for I think most of you probably have. So anyway this is what we're looking at is the desk here. Um, this desk is several years old. I got it from Kmart website online. I think I had seen it in a store um, I think maybe at my in-laws house. It actually has a chair that goes with it, but um, I bought this stool separate at Bed Bath & Beyond. And while it's a great desk, it doesn't function real well for a vanity because the drawers are very small. But, you know, it is nice. And one negative thing about being an off-white color, it does get dirty. The desk is clean, but you may see a few um, stains along the way. So I'm just gonna start with what is here on the desk. Um, Lately I've been keeping this towel here. Just when I'm using like the beauty blender, I can wring it out in the towel easily. Um, this makeup mirror is the same one I've had for a few years and this is from, what am I wanting to say, Costco. And it is a great mirror, probably one of the best I've ever had as far as lighting. And this basket here, and I'm not gonna go over every single product because that would just be way too long and tedious. <laughs> but I kind of keep in this bowl and I've had this, um, probably a couple of years now or going on a couple of years is when I started doing this and this is just basically kind of my most used products it started out being um, products that I wanted to remind myself to use and it's kind of now a mixture of that just everyday products and a few that I may um, be using currently or I want to remember to use so it's just got you know normal everyday things like my elf correcting powder um, I did put this NYX I should have piled in here because I wanted to remember to use that. You know, my Milani highlight pen, Mac Pro Longwear, um, Bobbi Brown, Br or I'm sorry, bronzer. Of course, my um, Burberry eyeshadow that I never wear that I keep saying I'm going to. <laughs> Just some concealers and different things like that are what's in here. Um, as far as back here. I um, I don't remember how long ago I did this, but I decided to put all my lip liners in here. But I can tell you I probably only use about four of those. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have so many, but um, it's easy for me to look at. At one time I had them in a drawer, um, so I just like them in that decorative glass. And then this is something I did not too long ago. I think I posted on Instagram. This is a toothbrush holder, but I thought it was really pretty. And I wanted to kind of put some of my eyeliners in here that just don't get used. Um, and I kind of separate them somewhat by color and by use there. So that's just a, a few of them. This is just a mercury glass um, container here. And I basically have these little kind of lip gloss, lipstick type pens, and any of the jumbo balm kind of lip stain things are in this. And then this cute little thing here, this is actually a candle holder. I got a Target, but I have all my lip betters. I think minus one, I think. Um, those are just there. And then this is something I started um, probably within the last few months. Um, another glass bowl. I just got this at, um, I think, Marshall's. It's pretty big. What I've been putting in here is any new products that I still um, need to review or talk about. Um, 
Several months back, I had started kind of a new thing where I was doing a product updates video. So instead of an empties video, I update you on products and things I want to remember to talk about, I'll put in this bowl here. So I just did a video not too long ago. I'll link that below so it doesn't have too much in there right now. So anyway, that's what that is. And then these are just kind of my... Um, most reached for foundations at the moment. I have, you know, my Rachel K CC cream, my CoverGirl Outlast um, Misha BB cream. And this container it's in is actually um, part of a butter dish that is just flipped upside down. Laura Mercier powder, a couple kabuki brushes, and then this big elf um, kabuki brush. I really like this. It's one of those I use to blend like um, bronzer and blush together. Um, after it's already on my face. <laughs> um, I always keep a pad of paper here. I try to write notes um, on what I'm wearing so then I will stick that note when I plan to upload the video. So that's how I remember. And then just any videos that I may be recording that day, um, I write them down and bring them in here with me. And then this little container here, I think this is like a votive holder. Um, this is just kind of some lipsticks that I want to remind myself to wear or maybe that I have been wearing lately. A couple of lip glosses. I always keep my tweezers right there. Um, a little chapstick. And then these are my two Z palettes. Um, this is mainly my MAC shadows. And then this has got some miscellaneous in it. The reason why those are sitting right here is because I need a new home for them. They were sitting back here, but one day they fell over and some of the shadows broke and I had to put them back together. So I think they're just a little too heavy being that they're a big magnet, you know, palette. I think they're too heavy for this little letter opener, which I have my other palettes in. Um, so I need to find a new home for them. So right now they've been sitting here. So if you saw in my other video, um, they were in a different spot. Just some of my most um, everyday brushes. Several are missing because I just clean them. Um, I spot clean every day or you know, every time I use them and then deep clean about once every couple of weeks, but those are in there. I kind of have them separated by um, you know, like powder and blush, face, concealer, and then eye. Okay, as far as the actual um, desk here, the center that pulls out and this is all the farther it pulls out. That's why I say I really don't recommend this. This kind of area here just has a lot of powders, couple cream eyeshadows, um, you know, kind of like eyeshadow pencils, the big ones. These are all my mascaras at the moment that I am, um, you know, using, testing through, you know, whatever. A lot of them, if I don't like the formula at first, I'll go back to them later. So that's why there's kind of a lot in there. And any eyebrow, um, you know, pencils or anything like that. And all of this area I think has stayed the same for quite a long time, so you may have seen that before. This is basically all my eyeliners and paint pots. Um, this is, this one's an actual um, eye primer, but I keep it in there. Just, um, actually I guess I have all my eye primers in there. So I have my Too Faced. So this is eye primers and eyeliners, like pencil, um, you know, liquid, anything like that. I need to have a different system for this because a lot of these I just don't see them so I don't use them. Um, so anyway, I do need to come up with something better for those. So in this bottom, and I have a little trash can down there, in this bottom I keep my um, baby wipes which I wipe off my hands and a lot of this is travel type stuff or extra things in here. Um, you know, extra eyelash curlers, these small size um, things that I take with me. Anyway, so that's what's in there. Not real interesting. And here, um, I just keep the Anastasia palette that the, the shadows came from that I depotted, or the brow powders, I should say. This I have had for so long, probably about seven years, When back when I went to a hair show in Orlando. These are just all loose pigments. Um, I don't even use them much anymore, but, you know, they stay good, so it's not like they go bad. Um, the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, even though I depotted it, I kept this just in case. This top drawer here, ooh, you can see me. Um, I keep my two small Z palettes. I use these for travel, one or the other. I usually don't take both. And then these are just eyeshadows that I don't use, but I don't want to get rid of. Either I don't really care for them, or they're like crazy colors that, you know, I don't always reach for. Um, 
things like that. And then the bottom drawer here is lashes. I have an extra bin where I used to keep brushes and it has all the fill in it in a plastic bag. An Estee Lauder palette. Um, let's see. Oh, the Burberry box, like an extra lip fusion. And then this is basically, um, this is a trial size of the Misha. These are basically lip colors. Either I'm not using at the moment because they're more seasonal and I'll switch some of them out or maybe I just don't love them. A few products that I don't love that I'll probably end up either giving away or putting in a blog sale. That's kind of what that drawer is. Okay, so as far as the bookcase, I'll just kind of give you an overview here. The top, there are a few miscellaneous um, things in here, like a few nail polishes. This container, I thought it would be a great idea, but ever since I put it up there, I've forgotten they were in it. This has all my NYX um, Mega Shine lip glosses in it, you can see. So I probably need to do something with that. Like I said, I, don't, I forgot they were in there. Just some beauty books decoration. I used to have my perfume in there, but um, I've since done something else with it. A few of my nail polishes. These are just um, brands that maybe I don't have that many of, or I'm just building the collection, so I set them on this. I have a nail polish rack that hangs on the wall, but of course it only holds 90 some, and I have more than that. So anyway, you can just see kind of what's on here. This is, um, my L'Oreal collection is definitely growing, but I love the color so much that I like them sitting right here because they're pretty. And then kind of just some glitters over here on this end, my Marilyn polish from that collection. Uh, Mac, or I mean Bobbi Brown makeup book. And then basically this one, these are Muji drawers, by the way. I've had them several years, love them. This is my lip one, and I believe it is, yeah, it's two different ones. It's a three and a five. Um, I shouldn't say it's all lip. I lied. Um, down here is eyeshadow. Basically just very small quads. And these drawers do pull out all the way. Um, more eyeshadow. Again, either singles or small quads. And then the lipsticks I kind of have by category. I have like brights. Um, then I have kind of mid-tone peak. And, you know, pinks, I guess. And then I have nude and peach and then kind of reds, which I don't have many reds. So this is the bright pink um, and kind of, I think some berries in here. Yeah, berries and brighter shades. So that's what is in here. These are the pinks, mainly light pink, you can see. And then these are the peach and nude. And of course I have probably more of those than anything else. And then this one, um, a few pinks in here, but just basically like brighter shades that I don't wear all the time. This one, same thing. It, these top two here are lip glosses. This one is all the pinks. So I'm always afraid this is gonna like fall out on me if I pull it out too far. These are all my pink glosses. And these are all the kind of neutral, peach, things like that. This candle just came with a Purology kit I got for my hair. And then on this one, um, this is kind of like face products. So I have my Revlon Colorstay Whipped up here just because it's so big, it doesn't really go anything. Same with the Powerflage, it's kind of a weird container. Um, I don't want it like moving around a lot or a lot of it spills out in the lid, so. You can see this, and these are, this is two different ones as well. It's a three and then a five. Okay, um, in the top drawer here is just some powders, basically, kind of like powder foundation. Um, well, except for this, I guess, isn't, but um, kind of bigger containers, that sort of thing. Have some foundations in here. And I try to clean these out a lot and not keep anything real old. This would be blush, um, cream blush, a couple highlighters, um, things like that. It's kind of blush and highlighter because I have another drawer that is blush, which is this drawer. You can see it's very full. It's hardly even closing anymore. Like I have to, I'm having to um, stack things, which I don't like because then I don't see them. And I think there's some Smashbox back there. But anyway, my most used, I kind of keep, you know, up here. Um, these are bronzers. And these are concealers. 
and uh, Makeup Forever foundation back there. And this is kind of miscellaneous. This is a huge Smashbox um, highlighter, but it's so big it had to go down here. Little eyebrow shavers, um, you know, mascara samples, scissors. I have a knife in case I need to get into any packaging. So that is an overview there, and I'll just show you this one again. And with the um, a little tip about the lip glosses and the lipsticks, I um, have them facing out so you can see the name and the color here. I don't know if you guys notice that, but I do that on purpose. The lip glosses, I find I can store more if I um, put them sideways like that to where they just line up. So, um, On this shelf in the back there, that little, I was thinking about lining these shelves with that paper. I got it at Target in the dollar bin, um, but I haven't done so yet. These are just extra brushes that um, you know I'm not really using, but I may once in a while, so I keep them handy. Um, these are the color tattoos that I have for Maybelline. And then this little handy thing, I love this. This used to be sit up on the vanity, but I've moved it. I just keep, you know, my sprays and taller bottles, all-nighter. This is the Sephora um, brush cleaner, and I use this to spot clean, and it is wonderful. I really like it. Eye drops, Fix Plus, just different lip balms, um, Beauty Flash Balm, um, Basically, you know, a few primers, and then my trusty uh, point and Q-tips there, and then my um, sharpener. This is Sue Devitt. I highly recommend it. It is worth every penny. Every single pencil I own fits in this one way or another, so I've never had a problem sharpening anything. So anyway, I just love that I can spin that around. Kleenex. Um, and then just a few things maybe I've gotten in the mail or that I need to test out. Um, these bins down here, basically this just has packaging in it from like, um, you know, any products that I've gotten that I want to keep the packaging. This I think just has, yeah, like thank you cards, um, different note cards, things like that that I may want to send. And then there's always probably a random Sephora box or something sitting here in case I want to return something. I'll give you one last overview. Of course, those are the Barbie pictures there, which I love. And so that is it. That is the collection.